Gosh darn it, I've been counted. Welcome back to another smurfing video. We're playing a little bit of timber saw. I actually wanted to make a support smurfing video, but here we are. We're playing the offlane. I queued every roll. I assumed that I'd get five. I got offlane. Apparently not a lot of people play offlane, which is kind of crazy to me because I feel like offlane is one of the best rolls to actually carry it. I really do believe that. Uh, <laughs> funny enough, I think most people are competent enough, like most mid players that play mid are competent enough to do like okay in lane. And then safe lane players just have to farm. And so if you get good at the idea of offlane, which is like farming and fighting and creating space all at the same time, if you can do that properly, man, I don't know, at least I've been having success with it. But uh, okay, let's get into the game. And great news, gentlemen. Currently, you can get 50% off your game leap sub if you use the code SUMMER. If you guys want all the extra content I'm making, for instance, you like these Smurf videos that you're about to see right now, if you use the code SUMMER, at checkout, you get 50% off, literally half off. You cannot get a better deal than this. You just won't. So go click the link in the description right now. Go check it out. And yeah, I actually make tons of videos just like this one over there every single day for you guys. The Smurf Timber video, there's other Smurf videos on the website. You like the replay analysis I do? There's other ones over there. You like the pro analysis I do? There's other pro analysis over there. Everything you want, there's more of it and better of it on the Game Leap website. So click the link down below, give it a chance, 50% off. You're gonna love the videos. I hope to see you guys there so you can get better at the game of Dota and let's do it. It's gonna be a, a, an interesting one. I picked it second phase naturally. I picked it into Ogre and Clock, which is fine. You know, it's two heroes that I generally can ignore. Clock can be a bit annoying. He can cancel out my spells with his, his Q, but I can also just Q him. So that matchup goes both ways. I'm, I'm a hero that can sort of ignore Ogre and Lane. You know, just his constant harass. Timber can sort of ignore it. But Bloodlust and Slark, a little bit hard to ignore. Viper, hard to ignore. <laughs> and OD, not the best. So what item is I going to go this game? Maybe even four staff. That could be interesting. This Viper is going to go eight toes, pounce, cogs. Um, I think it could be interesting. But I got to buy some items and get out onto the lane. I think I'm just going to go for like a double tango standard build yeah i think this is fine it's mid od 97 percent. yeah i definitely think it's mid od they last picked this od and viper is a better offlaner than od only because another toxin gives you options od doesn't i mean he's okay od he just has really good armor and good movement speed so he can sort of lane off lane just because of that but we'll see how we can play this game it's gonna be a little bit tough i got a techies you know keeping it real i mean techies is pretty okay against slark i actually think um my lane techies timber can be okay against slark I might even take my Q at level 2. I'm probably going to take Chain at level 1, Q at level 2. Just like nuke the Slark. And we'll see how it goes. I'm pretty excited to see if it'll work out or not. Well, and the reason why I say that is because with Blast Off, if he commits it, we can potentially first blood Slark. I definitely think it's possible. Even Ogre with his high HP regen. I think we do enough damage where maybe we can just ignore it. So definitely going to take Chain at level 1 and um, ignore the armor. And reason being is Slark... He chops through your armor, you know, he just builds up essence anyway. So here's what you do. Okay, I shouldn't have chained towards the ogre. Bit of a mistake. But, uh, You kind of just spam your chain. So there, the, the only thing I will say, though, is that that chain was not the best. Um, Soaker's actually almost dead. Is he dead? Oh my god, he's dead. Oh, no way. Oh my god. Freaking ogre! Any other hero would be dead, but still. It's really good harass. You can see what I'm talking about. I was talking about the first blood potential there. You know, I, I get them to commit a little bit and all of a sudden they are near dead. But you can see this is the power of the chain level one. You literally just spam it off cooldown. I don't want to go under tower. This is how you feed first blood, but I kind of want to do it. I don't know, this is fine. He pulled. That's honestly totally fine. I can contest it anyway. So if anything, I'll just get a free small creep. Never mind, I can't get that last hit. Oh my god, what is Techies doing? Uh. Alright, let's actually kill the small camp off as soon as possible. And then reset the wave. I think I'm just going to take my Blade Standard. Um, I, I am actually a fan. I definitely am a fan of the other build, which is the Q. I, I saw Kezu do it in a game. Why is this Slark running at me? Oh, oh are, you, are you dumb? What are you going to do? What is he doing? Go lane! The creeps are under your tower! <laughs> Okay, uh, yeah, but I saw Kezu do it and he actually got first blood when I was like, what? I actually might, oh, what? Dude, my range creep. Oh, it's gonna get denied. Yeah, 
I, I guess I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I blew my techies bombs. <laughs> and also when you're dragging waves, you want to drag them to here because then what you can do is you can scroll your camera over, pull aggro, and deny your range creep. And range creeps obviously die very, very quickly. Uh, I don't have to focus on the deny here though because there's no one in XP range, but you can see the point. It's really effective to do that. And it basically guarantees that the wave will stay in your favor. I am muted you. It's a good call. Usually if you're going to get tilted, you should drop the mute. Now, I actually might not take armor. The armor is still okay against Slark at level 3 just because of how much just straight up sustain it gives you, but... Um, whoops, I wasn't paying attention. I think in this lane, I just want to try to actually out-harass him. Does he have a stick? He does. Uh, uh. It only goes up by 40 damage. I don't know. Part of me just wants to stick to the normal build, and I think I will, just so I can spam my soul ring. I did rush a soul ring here, so... Oh, for uh, I did rush so I'm letting way too many creeps get denied in this lane for no reason. Um, so I think taking the two points in E so that I can just abuse this is, is fine. It's actually good because I'll take my Q at level 4 and then I can probably just go on Slark. Yeah, I'm just going to spam my WF cooldown on Slark. Looks like they've pulled again. I'll try to block this up so that the side pull goes off. Okay, cool. And now I'm just going to zone Slark as much as possible. I don't think I want to go one necessarily, but I guess I want it at some point is fine so what i want to do here is i want to drag this wave over uh actually you know what i'm not going to i'm just going to reset it i'll just set it here and i'm not going to uh i'm not going to see us to creep start away just because i want to oh no frick <laughs> gosh dang it only because i want the wave to stay back and now after one more cs i'll have my q and we'll be able to heavy deny this arc by the way him not being here is such a grief <laughs> what how do my techies just get a kill all right. This is huge. The wave's pushing back too. Gonna get two range creep denies? This is massive. All right. I don't know what Slark's doing right now, but it's probably be up. And now, now I'm just gonna cast my spells off cooldown on Slark anytime I can. Even there, I probably should have chained on him. He's gonna go for that creep. I'll chain here. You can see now, basically I can just abuse this. If they go on me, it's so bad. All right. I, don't, I guess Techies isn't here, but honestly, I still think it's bad for them. Look. <laughs> People think this matchup Slark favored. I'm, I'm at the point where I think it's actually just straight up Timber favored always. Oh my god, I gotta solve. This guy's GG'd. And I can basically dive the tower here. It really is at that point. I don't mind staticking a little bit, getting some denies. Oops. That was not the best. You want to typically use your Q when you're next to trees, though, just because it amps the damage so heavily. Do I take Emax? I I think I take my W. There's no way. I mean, I, I it does let you. Okay, I guess he pulled. Um, it does let you dive a little bit more effectively. But once again, these pulls. I mean, these pulls are fine. They're gonna get obviously the a little bit of XP for Slark, which is not bad. But I'm getting all the CS. Like that's that's basically two last hits. That's how you kind of have to look at it. It's basically two last hits. Can I help you? This guy wants to try to die. I don't think I actually. Uh, I have boots now. Actually, yeah, he's probably dead. He's got to pounce me. Yeah, okay. Still gonna dive. I don't know if this Slark thinks I'm gonna be afraid of him or not, but I have my ulti now. He can't lane at all. <laughs> oh my god, I'm the goat. Alright, now when the clock's going on me, I'll just walk to the small camp. I kill him on the side ground here. Oh, I guess I'm dead. Honestly, I kind of want to die here. It's a bit of a grief to um. Oh, I almost got I almost got the kill actually. That was a little bit faster. Now, what I was saying is kind of a grief to the XP. I gave the supports a lot of XP there, so it's probably not worth. I like I I definitely could have just run away, like tried to full disengage, but part of me almost likes dying because now I'm just gonna respawn with full mana and be able to run at Slark. So I don't know. I'm very on the fence about that, I think. Oh, no. Ah, okay, you know what? Peel's doing all right. He's died only once. Could be worse. <laughs> that's my that's my analysis of this here, but we'll definitely be going for the hood next. I'm going to walk over to the large camp here, just because I want to prevent him from farming. He actually might go to the small camp. I'm going to walk over, just because I think he'll try to farm small camp. Oh, they're pulling again. 
This ogre's the pole master. Like he's gonna go back to his tower. Wait, where's Slark? Did he just straight up leave lane? Guys, no respect. Put some respect on the timber, bro. You can't just walk up the timber, bro. Come on, bro. Easy keen optic too. Dude, by the way, this techie's just doing he's doing everything. I he got some solo kills, he's jungling. This is great! I love techies. This is my favorite hero. I wish they would add a second techie so you could have two techies on your team. I feel like that'd be extremely optimal for the state of the game. But now, uh, talking about the state of the game, all I plan on doing is just farming. Like, I can't really... I mean, I can rotate, so I'll keep it in mind. I can rotate if, uh, like, for instance, if they dive with, like, Viper, which they might. Viper's often a dive-oriented hero. Then uh, I'll consider rotating, but for the most part, I just want to farm. It's one of those timber games where I'll do fine if I have items, but if I don't have items, I'll just kind of get clapped. So we'll focus on also getting some neutral items for the boys, which we did not get there. GG. It's a chip vest and base. Like, I don't get how people don't instantly take that stuff. If I see a chip vest, I'm like, you know, I'm like... Ready to go. I want it. Where is out. Uh, I'm not going to go next wave. So one thing you kind of want to do when you get your own lane like this is you want to drag waves to camps as timber. Because if you farm them individually, you often have some mana problems. I do have a keen optic and a lot of farm right now. I have 70 CS. Which is kind of crazy. Are they ganking me? Why is the clock here? And I can't do too much to Slark at this point. Not fully true. I can if like he really messes up. But it's not too easy uh, at this point for me to deal with him. And part of me kind of wants to try four staff. Is that dumb? Like, is this guy going Athos? He is. Hmm. I'm going to do it. A little bit of experimentation going to happen here. Also, I kind of want to dive this OD. I'm going to go mid. Damn, I'm three levels above Slark. That guy got pounced on. This OD is really tanky. I'm going to come. I think this... I'm going to get him. Oh, that's a maxed Astral. Oh, damn, I forgot about that. Oh, shoot, I missed. Okay. Um, yeah, so I have to be careful when doing stuns people. I can actually just straight up knock them down, which is quite bad. I have to be very careful about doing that this game. This is where I want to run at the Slark. I mean, with Tiny coming, we could actually maybe kill him. Oh, how did I not hit him? <laughs> just kicking him out of his jungle, hopefully forcing some rotations as well. Here. Hmm, I messed up. I might have messed up. Here. Okay, no, I'm fine. All right, you know, forcing rotations, messing with Slark. I have so much HP regen too, so like Slark does too. So that's why, like, for a lot of heroes, that would be like a giga good trade for me because they can't sustain. But Slark doesn't really have that problem, so it's not as good. Um, but I'm, I'm still okay with that. You know, just making clock spend some time. I like taking the matter regen, by the way. Like, health is okay, but it kind of gets... I don't know. Health is all right. To me, it often... Um, oh, I'm just going to go Kaya. I just want to farm. It's not that necessary. You're more based on HP regen and staying alive. Like, it's not that the health is terrible, um, but, like, I'd rather farm, get items, and then have health from items and, like, more XP than then immediately have health in the early game, which, you know, often, in my opinion, doesn't keep you alive. Obviously, there's circumstances where it can, and you're like, oh, whoops, I wish I had health, but I think most of the time, not really. Save our mana here, just auto-attack these. Am I getting... I don't think I'm getting rotated on. You know, they don't have a very rotate-heavy comp. Like, OD doesn't rotate too much. Viper doesn't rotate almost at all. I'm not, like, too f afraid about ganks, which is why I said I'm going to be farming mostly this game. Um, is this a... Okay, nice. The boys are popping off! By the way, one thing I saw Kesu do as well, uh, woo, uh, is I watched him skip his ulti at 12, which I thought was interesting. I think it's mostly for the mana. It makes the mana cost go up by quite a bit, and the damage doesn't scale too well, so I'll be doing that as well this game, giving it a shot, see how it feels. And by the way, I love buying clarities when I get Kaya, because they obviously amp mana regen. What is this? Oh, nice. No, just a plus. Uh, they amp mana regen, so super good. And I'm still not getting ganked. I'm just going to keep farming. This is, this is sublime. And there's a, there's a clock here. Not that he can really do anything. So the Viper's here too. Almost has the Atos. 
With Viper being here, I'll just take a step back. I'll just chill a little bit. I want to farm up these camps. They could try to kill me. I'm going to farm. I'm going to farm like this. Just away. All right. Oh, frick. All right, I'll put this down. This, I don't like putting down this word because it gets D-word like literally every single time, but I just wanted to free up the slot. I'm going to go on this Viper. Maybe he'll like try to alpha me and we can kill him. A lot of vipers do this wrong where they like think they're invincible or they like just because they inherently counter you that they can just walk up to you it's so wrong it's really funny that like i kind of knew he's gonna do that only because until you get to like the really really high ranks where everyone understands matchups like thoroughly i mean and by the way that might sound really cocky and you're probably thinking like speed you're not ak you're not even ak <laughs> not even AK. <laughs> that's such a weird thing but um there's so much like uh depth to every matchup in dota and it's really hard to learn them all, right? It's really hard to learn them all. So I don't blame that guy for making that mistake. Like, Viper usually crushes Timber, but if you see a Timber that's this far ahead, you all of a sudden don't really counter him that hard. And you can't, it can't be a 2v1, right? It can't be a situation where there can easily be a support behind. Like, I feel like he just didn't factor that in. And now he's going to be afraid of me, wrongfully so, right? Like there, that's when he actually should man up because there's no chance like a support's going to gank him under a tower like that. Uh, okay, lower chance, not no chance, but lower chance. Am I getting ganked? I can't tell. Is this a gank? I think it is. Uh, the only reason why I'm running from an ogre is because I think I'm getting ganked by like a smoked, um, a smoked clock. It's good to chip Viper down. The hero lacks some sustain. Techies died bottom, but that's quite all right. Who, who cares about techies? I mean, I care about techies, but who cares about techies? You know what I mean? Who actually cares about techies? <laughs> what the hell? I cannot read that. We almost got a good Sanj Kaya at like minute 15. This is nutty. Oh no. Please stun him. No, he might be dead. Oh. This guy is. Nope. I'm not dead. He is dead. temporarily back up. I do want to throw my ulti out. Big thing people do wrong in Timbers, they don't throw their ult. Oh, nice play. Oh, I still died, but um, they don't throw their ulti out when they're trying to get away. Can we go back in? Oh, why do you, why do you, could I just combo Timber? I mean, Ochre, whatever, it's fine. Yeah, see, this is why I hate that word. Dude, every time I take a word, just for like a little bit of a tip, I always put it down here. Because this one barely gets dewarded because they put the sentry on the hill. So you just put the word here and it almost never gets dewarded, at least in my experience. And so, give that a shot, guys. You will notice great success. Now, the question is, do I go upgraded hood now? I don't think so. Part of me just wants to buy, like, Halberd. I feel like it's so good here. Like, you dis you disassemble, but I don't know. Halberd Bloodstone? Maybe Bloodstone Halberd? I've been seeing some people do that. And I just want to avoid ganks. Now that I have no vision, I need to play pretty scared for a little bit. All right? I don't, I don't really know what's happening, so... They definitely can kill me with these heroes, for sure. Okay. OD is my main threat in terms of DPS. I'm a little bit concerned about OD this game, to be honest. I feel like he's just such an, uh, an annoyance for Timber. I think it's just such an awful matchup. But we'll see. We have PL against OD. That's that's favorable for PL, so. If I take my ulti now, I will take it after this. It's a bit of a deep dive play. Honestly, I think this is horrible. I actually might dive into this. This is very fun. Oh, nice. He pounced at the wrong time. So you can get out of pounce if your chain's already mid-action. But yeah, I kind of want to go for... I'm going to try out the four staff. I think it's kind of dope this game, to be honest. Give some int too. Oh, nice. We killed OD again. Vandava. Vandava. The team is killing it this game. I doubt Slark is very much farmed too. I think he has a diffu, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if he has much more than that though, because he's not like. I don't think he's particularly farmed. All right, I think. Do I use this? The keen optic mana regen is actually so nice. I don't know. I guess it's spell amp too. All right, I'll give it a shot. The armor is not bad this game though, to be honest. <clears throat> and I already have a hood, but we'll give it a shot. All right, I'm not getting ganked right now. Their ogre's showing. Do I TB bottom? Kind of weird stuff going on. 
I don't think so. I think I'm actually just going to aggro this tower. So you can aggro towers globally by... Oh, okay. Whatever. This guy doesn't do anything to me at this point. Guess we'll just keep on farming. If Viper wants to do that, that's fine. I'll just... You, you can see, I just have some extravagant amount of farm in this game. It's absolutely insane how farmed I am. And it's totally fine to play like this. Like, if your team is farming, like, I'm not shutting down Peel. Like, Peel's farming this, right? Uh, he's probably like, why are you drawing circles on me? <laughs> um, Peel's farming all of that. I'm not shutting down his farm. I think people have this misconception where it's like, if you're farming as an offlaner, your teammate isn't farming. But I'm shoving in top, creating space by farming. And that's, like, the best way to carry as an offlaner. Does that make sense? I think it should make sense, but like you really get so much va value out of that concept when you you actually start to apply it, which is like you win your lane, and then instead of like rotating like most offlaners do, you just continue to shove in top wave and put this pressure here and bring heroes like Viper out. Am I gonna gank? No, I'm not. Wow, they they really haven't done a, a coordinated gank on me this entire game, which is kind of nice. And I'm gonna look to take this tower here. I think think this up as much as possible. Okay, never mind. Shouldn't have went for the tower. Yeah, I, I keep forgetting about how bad my hero is this game. So I'm gonna four staff here. Oh my god, it actually got me out of range. I'm gonna get astral again. PL is coming though, so there's that. I'm gonna try to get out of vision here temporarily. Oh, my PL didn't doppel. Whatever. Holy schnitzel pops. I'm fine. Baited! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Dude, I hate this OD matchup though. Oh my god, it's so bad. I hate this matchup so much. I have no int. He does a million damage to me. Even though I'm like giga farm. Ugh, disgusting. Like, I almost want to buy a ghost up there just for him. To be fair, the force that I've paid off there, it actually got me out of... Temporarily out of vision, I think it was. I don't think it was range. I think it tempor temporarily got me out of vision. Uh, of the ogre. But the main reason why I bought it is not for that. It's for Nether Toxinatos, Cogs, and Slark Pounds. Just a good four staff game. Yeah, honestly, we're just out farming them. Um, I honestly think BKB is probably my item. Now I'm thinking about it. I think if I just go in with BKB, I'll probably go BKB Shivas, and I can just YOLO in. Just grief them super hard. But like, I think playing this game without a BKB is actually really hard. And I, I've seen, it might be like, oh, BKB. I've seen quite a few Timbers go BKB now. gonna run at OD here so maybe my team can go in. Oh no. I'm lagging a little bit again. Frick! Alright, whatever. Four staff paying off. To be fair, I could, probably could have just chained away there, but yeah, this guy's just dead. Let's not chain feed. Instead we timber chain away. Very funny, right? Actually I'm gonna go BKB flamethrower. That's the build for sure. I think it's like Shiva's is just going to take too long. So I'm like, what else can I slow them with? And I think flamethrower is the item. It's making a bit of a Roche call. I, I think it's like super key. If we get Roche on PL, it's going to be really hard for them to play the game. We smoke and kill the Sodi. We smoke. Smoke and then we kill Odi and then we rush. Just goes four or five. Someone might push out mid. I'll go Odi. Just want to burst this guy if possible. Nice. It's big. I definitely do not die to Viper. Viper is good, you know, early game against Timber, but once it hits this stage of the game, he really doesn't do much at all. I kind of missed my spells there. I'm not the best. This guy's trying to juke so hard. Chill out, bro. All right, Roche it up. Yep. Smoke play working out. I think they smoked as well. Go Roche. Fuck the tower. Come on. What is this? Tier 2 over Roshan? You guys out of your mic? No. It's not a. It's not about going after... Like, even though I actually think maybe there's some legitimacy to what the PL is saying, which is like, we could fight them again around Roche. If that's the idea, I get it. I don't think that's what... <laughs> go ahead. 
The main thing I'm thinking is, you know, Roche is just, Aegis is just 10 times more important than a tier two. It's just not even close. It's just not close. Aegis on PL basically makes him be able to do whatever he want. He can go wherever he want. He can just literally run around and completely control an area of the map completely alone. And to me, that's value. All right, we'll wait for our combo. Kill that off. Probably go back to base real quick. This game, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to die easily, so I'll take the CDR. Honestly, after that fight, I feel like maybe I don't need BKB, but that's mainly because we got a good jump on, o on OD. I think uh, if I don't get a good jump on OD, then. But uh, if I don't get the, if we don't get a good jump on OD, then he'll cut me out. But I, I really just want to run at OD in these fights, which is the main reason why I'm buying this item. I think PL could do it as well, but I don't know. I just feel like if we kill off OD, he's like the only person with farm or any use on their team at this point. Like Slark doesn't do anything. I really like that hero. If, if, if Slark gets off to a bad start, man, that hero struggles. You have to pick it into a good lane. Looks like Peel's just going to run it down. I kind of want to just push out bottom, to be honest. I feel like it's not worth running it down. I think my team can 4v5 them easily, too, with how farm Peel is. The problem is I don't have TP, so it makes this a bit odd. Okay, I'm lagging. I'm super... You guys probably watch this and say, like, Speed! <laughs> You're awful! Dude, I'm lagging, guys. I'm lagging. Look at my team go. We killed OD. Kill Viper and they don't they don't need me. I'm the wave shove king. I make the game end faster. Just like Slark wants. Actually, technically, if I was there, we could just go thrown, but you guys get the point. You get what I'm saying, right? <laughs> don't waste time. Playing against the Slark was a waste of time. He's that incompetent. Does not even deserve to play against me. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, guys. I'm joking, I'm joking. And he's gonna try to steal away from me. Oh, no chance. Now you guys might be wondering, Speed, what's your analysis on the four staff? Is it the only reason why you won the game? Absolutely. By the way, I just want to give you guys a bit of a bit of a side note, a bit of a side tip. Um, the only reason why you can win Dota at all is if you make the right item choices. I'm just kidding. That's the furthest thing from the truth. Please. Watch this game and say, hey, Speed, I think uh, a big reason why you won the game was your timber chain usage. You did a really good job at going on the Slark consistently, securing CS with it, and most importantly, chipping them down. Also, a lot of solo kills coming out. Just really good spell usage. Big part of the game, you know? Can you hit your spells? Can you not hit your spells? Because it's pretty important to land your spells. If they don't land, they don't do any damage. Um, and then, yeah, just shoving lanes. I think the biggest portion of this game that people would get wrong is they might have rotated out too early they wouldn't have focused on the efficiency the soul ring dropping uh the soul ring dropping the kaya the clarities you know just keeping it at, at those type of things oh the hook shot it's genius from clockwork don't worry i got you viper no problem dude i save you and you viper strike me oh my god people these days right thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed that absolute walk down by the way if you're wondering what my mmr is now i actually lost a couple of games off youtube videos but let's see where we're at. Let's take a look. That was a, that was a beatdown. That was a hard beatdown. We are at 6870. I got to get to 7k by the end. Do I want to say the end of the month? That's in like, what, eight, eight days, nine days? Let's try to get there. If I don't get there, maybe we'll do a giveaway. I don't know. You guys can remind me. <laughs> I'll try to remember. I'll try to remember. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. And I'm out. Peace. And that's all, but remember, before you leave, come on, before you tune out, subscribe to the Game Leap website, where we are going to help you get to the next rank. If you're stuck, click the link down below, and I'm out. Peace.